everyone, welcome to an ongoing series called Pokemon Thunder and Light, Season 1, Kanto. I'm planning on making a ton of other episodes of this, uh, so I hope you all like it, because even if you don't like it, I'm not going to stop. So, well, this series is, is, is of the adventure of me and two friends of mine, No Source Rex and Junkyard Edits, but we'll get to them later. Part one is my journey, and the first season would be me. Episode one, the journey begins. I, as you know, I am a, I'm a boy who lives in in the small town of Lavender. Every day, I pay respects to the monument of the tower. However, my because well, my mother died once, and I never got to see her. When I was born, actually, she died. So, a lot of people in the town call me a curse. Or a mistake. But, I ignore them. Because, I'm gonna, because I have a dream. I'm gonna be the greatest trainer of them all. One day, when I was younger, however, when I was younger, before I turned ten years old, I heard a voice of a cube bone of something crying. When I went to see what it was, it was a small Pokemon with a skull on its head. When I could remember from what Gramps told me, that Pokemon's a Cubone, and what looks like it's near a Marowak crying, and I see a man wearing a black jumpsuit with a big giant like mortar. Until I realize, until I realize that Cubone, that Marowak is dead. I wondered what it was until I realized Cubone's mother died. I took action and took the baby Cubone with me. The grunt ran after me until Snorlax used Thunder Punch. My grandpa as Snorlax came in to save the day. Grandpa Fuji, are you okay, Jax? Yes, I'm fine. Uh, thank you. We gotta take this Cubone with us. Follow me! Snorlax! Snor! We took the Cubone in and took care of it. It took a while for the Cubone to get used to us. It looked like it didn't have, want anything to do with humans. I can't really blame it. I mean, its mother died. However, there. However, so. Sorry, I keep stuttering. So, well, one day, however, that Cubone took a liking to me and everyone else in the town. However, a lot of people didn't like this Cubone because it felt too much like me. I didn't. I told him to ignore it. So, and I decided to show it Lavender Tower. This is where we, we pay respects to all that have fallen. And it's where my mother died. When I said that, Cubum looked at me with a shocked expression. And then I looked back at it. Yep, I'm in the same boat as you. Listen, I know you lost your mother, and I feel bad, but sometimes things happen. And I wish some things didn't happen, they just do. But I can help you. Grandpa Fuji can help you. Anybody can help you. As soon as I said that, Cubum leaped in my arms and cried. But these were cries of happiness, not sadness. And when I had this happen, I smiled for the first time in a while. When I turned ten years old, I decided to I decided to tell Gramps about how I was gonna do my journey. When I said I was going on a journey, Cubone leapt into my arms. Uh, what are you doing? Choo, choo, Cubone! Cubone said very excitedly. Then Grandpa Fuji realized. I think Cubone wants to go with you on your journey. I looked at him shocked. Uh, are you sure, Cubone? Choo, choo, Cubone! I looked at Cubone 
and smiled. So I threw the Pokeball, and Cubone was my first Pokemon. As I left Lavender Town, well, I didn't actually leave yet. I wanted to have one more, more time in the town before I left. However, when I got, however, when I went outside, I saw a huge group of fan gr girls gawking about this guy named Alima. Alima, wait, that sounds like no way. When I heard his name and saw his face, I knew. Ilima! Yo, Ilima, what's up? When I said that, the girls looked at me with at the disgusted expression, like, and said this. Um, you can't just talk to someone as famous as Ilima like that. But when Ilima heard that, he, they said, he said, It's fine. It's nice to see an old friend again. They looked shocked when they heard old friend. Yep, me and Jay go way back. Yeah, we do. Brief rundown. See, me and Lima were friends for around five years from now. However, a lot of people called him Shy Boy Lima because he was just so shy. He was also really scared of Pokemon at the time, which you couldn't tell from now. And, well, the only reason he's not afraid of Pokemon now is when he saved his trusty partner, Eevee from a wild Nido King. Well, technically I saved it, but he protected it. You see, the Nido King was just looking for its child, and so walked off. When Alima saw this, he realized not all Pokemon are vicious creatures, and so decided to become a Pokemon trainer himself one day. And it looks like that happened. So Alima, what's it like in Bacarola? Warm, sunny. What about you? Heh, <laughs> same old, same old. Oh, isn't that the little Cubone that's all, that uh, ran away from me a lot? Yep. He's not my partner. I see. Evie, why don't you go say hi to Cubone? Eepoy! Eepoy! Is something the matter? Eepoy! Cubone, what the heck? Hey, uh, 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 Cubone? <coughs> what the? I suddenly saw a vision of what Cubone saw. When I looked at Eevee, it remembered something. A battle with one of the grunts and an, an Umbreon? It was vicious. It kept attacking like no tomorrow, weakening the poor Cubone. I see. I see. So your Cubone suffers from PTSD. It seems like it. You, you, Cubone. I get that you had had traumatic experiences with with one of this Pokemon's evolutions, but you should say sorry. Q, 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 Cubone, man, Q, Q. -Q. Hey, Ilima got Eevee healed up, and we decided to have a talk. We talked about a ton of stuff. When Lima did, did, how he was doing, and how I was doing as well. Well, in my dream, and our dreams as well. I then asked how the Alola League went. He said something that surprised me. Sadly, I got knocked out in the first round. The 151 bracket? No, I was the top 16. I got defeated by a, a somebody named Guzma. Wow, he seems pretty wild. Wow, Judging by his name, he sounds powerful. He is. His scissor is no pushover. I see. Do you want? Why don't we have a battle? You're on. 
the battle began. I sent out Cubone, and Lima decided to send out Eevee. Cubone, use Bone Club! Cubone! Eevee, use Takedown! Eevee! <laughs> Kill! Eh, Eevee's fast. Alright then. Cubone, use Headbutt! Cubone! <laughs> Eevee! The battle is fierce. With a bunch of hits head hitting, missing, and getting hit all together. I decided to use Cubone's stick, skull, and, and bone to my advantage by counting on a barrage of headbutts and bone clubs. As well as Lima relying on, on Eevee speed using moves like quick attack and, ta and takedown. It was tough. However, we decided to go for one last move. Eevee, you who's who's ha all right, Eevee, you who's Giga. <laughs> Sorry about that. Eevee, use last remark. Cubone, use bone melee. <laughs> Both attacks hit the Pokemon, and when the dust cleared, both were knocked out. Ending the match. It sucked that I lost, but who, who cares? You win some and you lose some. Well, hey, Lima, you're a pretty strong battler. I gotta admit that. <laughs> you're no slouch either. I see you've been training a lot, Jay. Actually, I just got Cubone recently. Amazing, and you're both still in sync. Well, I saved it when I was young. What do you expect? You've got a point. <laughs> Say, do you plan on entering the Kanto League? Uh, yeah. What about it? Well, then I plan on entering as well. The Alola League wasn't enough. Don't forget, I also participated in the Kalos League. How can I forget? Well then, until next time. Until next time. See ya, pal. I went off and went. However, I went off. However, I heard something when I was off. Did you hear? About what? About a stone one on Route 1, saying it contains the soul of the, died, the Pokemon that died. What Pokemon was it? He never said. It was a Pokemon that looked kind of like Haunter if it was alive. But this Pokemon was evil. And vicious. Evil and vicious? I don't believe it. I decided to walk off, brushing off what those two girls were talking about. So there's no such thing as an evil and vicious Pokemon. Only nature. I walked through Route 1 for a while, and then noticed a stone saying, Spirit of, of the Dark Monger. So I decided to check it out, and yeah, this felt like a scam. Um, I saw a giant price tag on it, and I knew this was a scam. A man walked up to me. Hello, hello, hello! I am the great Magikarp salesman. Would you like to buy this Magikarp for only $500? No. Ugh. Well then, how about a Pokemon trade? I'm not trading Cubone for anything! Not even this super rare uh, uh, Gyarados? Sorry about that. Yeah, I will know if it's a Gyarados if I look at it. It. Okay, come on out, Gyarados! <sighs> what the? Uh, that's an Arbok. Dressed as a Gyarados. <laughs> this stupid stone doesn't give me tourism! He proceeded to kick the stone down out of anger. But then, a giant purple claw peered out. <laughs> a haunter that saw 
that is none that I've seen before popped out of it. This my, either this was a dark the dark monger, or just some random hunter sleeping. Either way, this thing thing was dangerous. This thing was on a rampage, launching the ma shooting a ma sh shooting the magic card salesman with a shadow ball, oh, which was super powerful. I had to stop this thing because it was way too who angry. So I decided to put Cubone up to fight. Cubone, use Bone Club. Cubone, the Hunter. It did good amount of damage. No surprise since Haunt is also a, a poison type. However, for that did mean that Haunter's ability wasn't levitate. So that took some weight off my shoulders. Alright, Cubone, use Bone Club once more! <laughs> Haunter! <laughs> Haunter decided to use Shadow Claw, uh, and it did significant amount of damage to, um, to Cubone. Cubone! Okay, let's try something else. I got it. Cubone, you sing! Q, 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 bone, Q, bone, 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 bone. Q, 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 bone, 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 bone. Haunter. Haunter. Haunter was fast asleep. I decided to use one of the Pokeballs that uh, Mr. Fu- I mean, Grandpa Fuji gave me. And use it. A moon Ball. That should work. Go Moon Ball! <laughs> Bip him. Bip him. Bip him. It took a bit for it to give me an answer on if it worked or not, but... I caught it. I caught the dark monger. Or is it? I decided to send it out of its Pokeball. Hunt, hunt? Um, are you the dark monger? As I said that, the hunter did something I did not expect. It stuck its tongue out in a joking way. Yeah, I knew this was a fake. So, what were you doing inside of that rock? Hunt, 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 hunt. Um. Okay. So, from what I could tell, apparently that Magikarp say. So man needed it a ploy to get some people say going like, on to a shop. So I decided to stuff stuff of Haunter inside of a rock and see and pretend it was the stone of the dark monger. So it was a fake ploy from that Magikarp salesman. No wonder you're angry, you're stuffed in there. So then and do you wanna join our our cause? And become a legend like me and Cuba? Haunter licked his lips. Haunter! As he said that happily, he licked my face. Oh god, that's a long tongue. Well, welcome to the team, pal. You know, I feel like it's nice walking with Pokemon, you know? Right? Hey guys, Hunter! Keep on! Hmm, it's getting late. We should camp out for the night. Nighttime came, and I decided to make them food and make myself a sandwich. Down the hatch! Hop. <clears throat> That's the stuff. Hunter! Keep on, boom, 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 boom. Boom! 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 
Boom. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I just had a bit of a cough, that's all. I wonder what that was about. <sighs> However, so as we were going back to... However, when we walked back on the trail, I noticed something. A trainer. I decided to go up and talk to him. Hey there, my name's Jay, what's your name? He looked at me with a glare. What's your problem? More like, what's your problem? W what's that supposed to mean? You don't just... What, you told me your name and you expect me to say my name? That's the whole point of introductions, don't you know this? Why should I say my name to somebody I don't even know? <clears throat> oh my god! Uh, the whole point of an introduction is getting to know someone! I get to know people by battling them. Tell me, how many Pokemon do you have? I have two. Perfect. I also have two. So let's battle. Are you sure about this? Don't make me stutter. Fine. Suddenly I was challenged to a battle by this red-haired individual. I still don't know his name. But there's only one thing for sure. He is not going to hold back. I threw out Cubone and he threw out a Zubat. Already, this is it's a toss-up. Because flying types are immune to ground type moves. So moves like Bone, bone Meringue and Bone Club won't do anything. And the only other move that Cubone has is Headbutt. And Headbutt's not the strongest move on the planet. So... Oh, I better hope I hit something. Use headbutt! Steel wing. <laughs> hit, Cuba was hit with a massive hitting steel wing. I didn't know what to do. Cuba was outmatched. However, I remembered something. He had one other move that could help. Alright, Cuba, use rock throw! Cuba! <laughs> a rock hit. Hit Zubat with a massive amount of damage. Kind of ruining its flight momentum. <sighs> I'm not giving up. The battle raged on, with a ton of moves hitting each other. Zubat getting health back from using Leech Life. While Akiba was hammering away, yeah, with headbutts and rock throws. However, when it came to attacking moves, its Steel Wing and, and Poison Fang did damage. Big time. However, when the battle was over, Cubone was the one that came out on top. However, I heard something that came out of this guy's mouth that I did not particularly like when he, he brought back in Zubat. You're worthless. When I heard that, I had to say something. Hey, your Zubat is strong! Um, you who should be grateful for what it did. It didn't beat a Pokemon that I had a clear advantage against. <sighs> Send out your next Pokemon already. <sighs> Go Totodile! He sent out a Pokemon that I did not even recognize. It was a blue alligator with if small feet and a bunch of teeth. He called it Totodile. Uh, what the heck is that? I see you've never been to Johto before. What? Johto? I've heard about Johto, but I've never been there before. Heh, <sighs> well consider this as a, a rundown. Totodile is one of the few stars you can get in Johto. I just happen to be lucky and get it. Totodile, use a thing! He hit me with an ice fade that did massive damage to Cubone, and then Hydro Pump. <sniffs> One Hydro Pump, and Cubone was down. It was so quick. You see, you can't win with a Pokemon like Cubone. It's small and weak. 
weak, weak, weak. I'll show you weak. Come on out, Haunter! Haunter! Mm. Haunter, get ready. Haunter! The battle was about to begin. Haunter, you fail, Haw! Haunter! Totodile, use Focus Punch! What? Did you forget? Hit the have fighting time moves will work on Haunter. And here you are making fun of me. <laughs> Shut up! It was a small misclick. You can't do th hmm. whatever you say. Use Ice Fang! You Shadow Claw! <laughs> shadow Ball! Use bite. Okay, Haunter. Nightshade! On top! What? Totodile was defeated and launched back. No, that's impossible. I demand a recount. Sorry, pal. You lost. This battle's finished. Hey! Hmm? You won my name, didn't you? Yeah? It's Silver. Don't forget it. Because you have made a rival today. Well, there you go. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to make a list of rivals now. Cause now I have two rivals. My friend from a long time ago, Lima, and a rival that I do not particularly like named Silver. I only met the guy and he's giving me weird vibes. I decided I had to go to Vermilion City for my first gym battle. I knocked on the gym's doors and they were open. I walked in to see a man and talking to two students. That must be the gym leader. I heard drinking water and I saw something. It looked like a girl about my age. Hmm? Hi there! My name's Misty! Aren't you the Cerulean gym leader? Yeah, but I come here from time to time to watch my a mentor or battle. Mentor? That guy? Yep. That's the Tenet Surge. The gym leader of Vermilion City. He's the gym leader? He looks like a war veteran. <laughs> You're not the first one to say that. I see. He's not going to be a piece of cake. Excuse me! Hmm? Are you Lieutenant Surge? Yes. What about it? I want to challenge you to a Pokemon battle! I'm kind of busy teaching two students here. Please, Mr. Surge! Hmm? We would love to see a Pokemon battle! Alright. This will be good at visual learning. So prepare to learn! Hmm, from what I can tell, this gym works around electric type Pokemon. So Cubone would be a sir option, but he'd be expecting that. So, the battle began. Tan Surge sent out Pikachu, and I sent out Haunter. The battle was tough. His Pikachu was extremely speedy, and was no pushover when it came to attacking. It hit me with Iron Tail after Iron Tail after Quick after Volt Tackle after Thunderbolt after all sorts of powerful attacks. 
this Pikachu's moveset was inspired by a young man. A young man that was about your age. Who is he talking about? Alright then. And show so your heart is pretty strong though. He isn't wrong. Hunter has managed to hold back these attacks. However, due to Pikachu's speed, he has that much luck getting a hit off on it. However, that's when it hit me. You psychic! Hunter! Pika! Pikachu! 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 Hunter! Shadow Ball! Pika! Now, grab it and use Shadow Claw! Pikachu! Pikachu is unable to battle! Hunter wins! You're pretty strong for a youngster! You're pretty strong for a war veteran. Though no, that comes with with the territory, I guess. <laughs> Uh, young ones. Magnemite! <gasps> this here Magnemite happens to be one of my strongest Pokemon here. Behind my Raichu, of course. I see. Power. That's amazing. Okay then, Haunter, try your best. I decided to go for a Nightshade. And when? Use Iron Defense plus Shadow Ball! Wait, I mean... Use Iron Defenseless Trial Ball! It, he mixed two moves together like it was nothing. And blocked my Shadow Ball, my Nightshade with ease. Hunter, Shadow Claw! Use Metal Burst! Hunter was down in one attack. I did not know how to handle that. But, there's one thing for sure, I was not going to have an easy time with this Pokemon. I sent out Cubone, and realized they saw and tired something out. Use Boomerang! Cubone! Magnemite! I knew it. Boom! Your Magnemite's ability is levitate, isn't it? You got it right on the handle. So ground type moves like bone club and uh pause guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, pause there. Here, but think of it as a dramatic cliffhanger. Let's see what he would do. Like a little, little like, like uh, between crit uh, move scene or something in the anime. They do that, okay? They, they do that. Okay then. Now, where was I? Mega Man, you shot Shadow Ball. Why would he mix those two, move, two moves up? Magnemite! Quick dodge it, Cubone! Cubone! Now then, use Headbutt! <laughs> Cubone! That won't do much. Magnemite, use Metal Burst! Dodge it! <laughs> hmm, you're good. But, you Fast Cannon! Rock! Hot throw! Q. Bone. Bone. Q. Bone. Q. Q. Bone is building up energy for something. What is this move? Is it? Let's try it. Use Rock Blast! Flash Cannon! 
the dust cleared, and Magnemite lost. <laughs> well, ain't that a surprise? Your Cubone is strong. I gotta admit, I lost. So then, you earned this. Amazing. I obtained the book, the Thunder Badge. Don't spend it all in one place. I'm gonna use it for the Pokemon League. <laughs> I guess that place you can spend it on. I wanna give you something though. An egg from Johto. Johto? I suddenly remembered my battle with Silver. And his Totodile. What's the egg up? What is it? I can't tell you what the egg is yet. But I can tell you're going to be good friends with it. And that is where we're going to leave off. What is inside of this mysterious egg? What will, well, technically I run into on my journey? Will, will Cuba um, relieve me of its fears? Find out next time on Pokemon Thunder and Light Season 1 Canto Journeys.